Hi guys, I'm Asaf, this is Itai, and today we're going to react to Amaranth by Nightwish. From the 2013 Vakken concert. Should be fun, another one from the concert? Another one by Nightwish? Yeah, lo looks like we might eventually cover uh, the whole set from yeah. that uh, particular show. Yeah. It's Lots like, of requests. Yeah. It's like we were there. Only not. Let's do it. We've been hearing you loud and clear and know that you sing along with a lot of our songs. So we hope for the next one you can sing even louder. Let's bring it on. Let's see if you can sing even louder than we are. As always, floor is amazing and they're great. Uh, it just uh, hit me. Uh, I've been binging Nightwish uh, since my 20s, but there was no YouTube in the early 2000s. So up to this point, I think I can safely say that I've seen floor in music videos and live performances a lot more than I've seen uh, Taria. Or, um, mm. And that also, I know this song actually, I've, not the first time I've listened to it. Um, I've never uh, listened to floor sing it. But it's it's if, if I'm not mistaken, um, Annette sang, uh, sang this one. I, I always love it when we uh, cover stuff from, from this show at Vak in 2013 because it's my favorite lineup of uh, Nightwish. So, um, yeah, I, I just enjoy it every time. Flora is always amazing. Uh, to answer her question, no, the audience did not sing it louder than she did. <laughs> I don't think we've, we've reacted to a song of theirs so far where Floor engages the audience so much. I mean, I'm sure she's done it, but this is the first time I've seen it. It's, it's actually, it's very exhilarating. It makes me want to be there. She she has before, just less, I think, um, yeah. you know, where she tries to kind of rev up the crowd and, you know, get them to participate. Yeah. Um, 
she does it a lot more in this um but this song kind of facilitates it a bit more like i said you know it's a it's a, a slightly shorter song than usual yeah um the chorus uh, uh repeats potentially more than others but also it is mm -hmm. very melodic yeah like a really kind of catchy chorus i really like it um mm -hmm. yeah she's she, as always you know she does an awesome job she's fantastic yep i agree <laughs> Amaranth means flower that never fades. It mentions uh, never fading rain and uh, tears of snow white sorrow. But there's, there's definitely a lot of um, uh, reference to darkness. But as far as what the song is about, I, I can't tell you for, for certain. But for me, it, it's, it sounds like it's basically about someone who's dealing with an inner struggle. Like they're looking for... for uh, uh, a reason or, or someone to blame and realizing they can only rely on themselves like finding comfort in that uh like you said you know that season the darkness the rain the snow that kind of sorrow um is is symbolized through through all of that you know mm -hmm. um and uh yeah it's like it's 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 sort of about like finding beauty um in in all of that but it, it's it's a tough one because again the the language is is very um descriptive but it's not quite telling you you know what it's talking about everything is uh is there's a lot of imagery yeah but it's really about uh, about some kind of a search you know mm -hmm. and again like i said it's like a never fading so it's almost to, to me it's like a never ending search um yeah. you know looking for that for, to, to find that peace through that sort of struggle and darkness yeah um you know, at the end of the song, it talks about like the uh, daybreak, um, yeah, which is which is something that it feels like the um, the protagonist here is kind of uh, looking for, you know, that daybreak, you know, a bit of a bit of sun, a bit of light to kind of climb out of this darkness. Um, yeah, I don't know, just it's 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 really cool. But um, as the song goes, it kind of pulled me away from the lyrics and just kind of got me listening to this kind of really, really, you know, catchy tune. Um, I really, really like this song. Yeah, it's catchy and it grabs you. Uh, it doesn't, uh, it's less uh, thought provoking. I mean, there is deliberate ambiguity in it to make, you, to make you think about what it means and listening to it a few more times maybe uh, will reveal more things that I'm not able to see right now yeah there's there's a feeling um in other songs i i um i kind of had to really like delve deeper into the lyrics and break them down almost line by line try to work out what does this line mean what does this line mean how do they relate in this one as as i uh read it and as i listened to the song i just sort of got more of a feeling um so I'm, i could be way off um i could be spot on or i could be a little bit of both um but that's how the, sort of the song kind of made me feel. It took me to to that kind of place, um, which is really cool in itself, I think. Yeah. Um, great song. 
Yeah. If you enjoyed this video, guys, please be sure to like, subscribe, and click the little bell icon so you get notified on all our future videos. Share our stuff. It will mean a lot to us and encourage us to make more videos for you guys. Hit us up in the comments. What did you think about Amaranth by Nightwish? Did you like it? Let us know. Also, let us know what you would like to see us do next. We will do our best to comply. If you have a request you'd like bumped up the line, please make it through Buy Me A Coffee. All contributions are, of course, very much appreciated. Thank you very much for everything. Thank you for your time. I actually mentioned to, to a friend that we were going to do a song of theirs and uh, got slightly ridiculed that I had no idea who they are. Um, and um, he mentioned that uh, they've been around for a long time, which is what kind of makes it worse. Um, and uh, apparently the lead singer, if I'm not mistaken, was originally the drummer of the band. And they went through some personnel changes, eventually he took over and decided, all right, I'm going to be the leader, like the front man of this band. And and I think that was a good choice. <laughs> He's That's very charismatic. I have nothing to compare it to, but I'm not complaining. Thank you, everyone. We appreciate you more than you know. Again, without you, there would be no show. So yeah, keep coming back. We are loving it. And uh, yeah, we are enjoying this journey very much and hope to see you again in the next one. See you then, guys. <laughs> Bye. Bye, guys.